Hey y'all, today we're gonna to be talking about a curiosity of a film stock, Cinestill 50D. So when I first heard about Cinestill, both the 50D and the 800T varieties, I knew that they were modified motion picture film, but I wasn't sure what modifications had to be made in order to make it work for stills photography. So what I learned in my research is that Cinestill took Kodak motion picture film and the most drastic change they made is removed the REM jet layer. Now, the REM jet layer, as it's called, is a jet black layer of carbon particles that sits on the back of motion picture film. And it offers two main benefits. The first one is that it provides lubrication and protection from scratches as the film is pulled through the motion picture film camera. The second main benefit, and the one that will be the most obvious to Cinestill users, is the anti halation layer. Now, the fact that both varieties of Cinestill don't have this anti-halation layer in effect, often make them more popular. It's a look that's often sought by shooters of Cinestill, and other people try to cancel it out with filters. I know the Tiffin Promis filters that Greeny Day uses actually do provide a certain anti-halation effect for the film, so we can get more typical looking images. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, so this remnant layer provides this anti-halation effect, so why don't other still photography films have this blown out highlight effect or this aura effect? Well, actually, most photographic film stocks do have an anti-halation layer built in. It's just not included in the RevJet layer like it is on Kodak motion picture films. Now, the other benefit from removing the RevJet layer is that it can be processed through typical C41 chemistry and the machines that a lot of photo labs use for that process. The ECN2 film chemistry is a little bit more involved and there's limited labs that do that now in the United States. And that's the film chemistry typically used for motion picture film. Cinestill is typically expected to be cross-processed in C41. Now, the C41 chemistry is what's typically used for most color negative film out there. Now, the C41 chemical process is a lot easier to find here in the United States and makes it easier and more accessible to more shooters around the world. So, how is Cinestill 50D actually to shoot? In my experience, while this film stock is rated at 50D, I wouldn't expose it as such. I shot one of my first rolls at 50 ISO to see how it did at a more typical exposure on my F3 and I found the film to have this heavy green tint that goes away as you expose the film more. So I did a shoot down by Lake Travis at Windy Point in, here in Austin and I took a little crew with me down there to film. Hey guys, it's Lilio, and today we're gonna to be shooting some Cine Still 50D with our lovely model Chloe. Hi. So, uh, what are you excited about for this film? Um, I've never interacted with medium format to begin with, um, but I'm also excited to see how this turns out, given that it's the film that's used in all Hollywood's videos. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing the effects that it makes and how it varies from different other film styles. Sweet. Okay, let's go shoot. I, I gotta wind up one more time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Ready? Three. Motion was a little bit more. Three, two, one. Okay. 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 Sure, we're good. On the exposure. Okay, uh, Chloe, is there a way you can angle your right shoulder a little bit more towards me? There you go. Three. Okay, uh, chin up a little bit. Three, two, one. Right there. Get out of here. Ready? Chin up a little bit. There you go. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. 
<laughs> Always. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, look at you or look at my stick? Look at the stick. Ready? Three, two, one. Wait, one more. Sorry. Three, two, one. Sorry. Three, two, one. There you go. How many snakes? You're like incredibly high. <laughs> okay. You want me to change levels or like do a squat or something? Or I want you to put your foot on that rock in front of you. Okay. Yeah. And can you angle your toe down a little bit? There you go. Three. Wait. Let me just make sure we're getting the accurate reading on the meter. Okay. So it's very foggy. Three. Two, one, there we go. Can you bring your hand up so you because right now you're just like leaning really far over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. One second. Oh, three, two. Okay, do whatever. Your, your hat, point, put it. Uh, sorry, pull a little to the right. There you go, yeah. There you go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh. In a second. Uh, lower your right shoulder. There you go. Yes. In a second. Chin up a little bit. Three. In a second. Three. Two. One. Okay, that was the last shot of this roll. So as you can see, we had a good time out there at Windy Point. And for all those images, I exposed the film at 25 ASA. Color negative film tends to work better with overexposure versus underexposure. And with my older Pentax 6x7 meter, I decided to play it more on the safe side and give it probably more light than it needed. Now, its signature green tint will go away as you expose the film more, but because of this, in the dark areas, in the shadows especially, you'll see this green tint creep in. So while I was doing the sunset shoot with my friend Sarah, you can see that in the darker parts of the image, there is that signature green yellowish glow. And it's just something to take note of. You're not gonna be able to get the exact same colors as motion picture cameras do with their film stops because you're processing it through a different chemistry. And it's something you do have to keep in mind. Now, Cinestill is a very, very sharp, high resolving film, and I have no complaints about that. If you have enough light, I would definitely recommend it for a different look to your images. And I would recommend overexposing it by 0.7 to a full stop to make sure you're getting the best result, especially if you're using an older film camera. I shot it in both my F3, my F6, and my Pentax 6x7 with good results in all of them. Now. Shooting in the daytime, you will find that the anti halation layer removal does have some effect, especially when backlighting. Around the edges of my friend's hat, you can see this glow around the brim as the light is coming over her. There are going to be some artifacts from that remjet layer being removed, and you should be aware of them, especially with which direction you're pointing the light and where your subject is in relation to your light source. I think that Cinestell 50D definitely gives a unique look, and it's something I want to use more in the future to capture more of a classic film movie aesthetic. There are now alternatives out there for motion picture film that you can run through a stills camera, and some of those do offer the traditional ECN2 film chemistry process. Those will give you a truer to motion picture film look. 
but keep in mind that Cinecitto 50D is a lot easier to find than those films and a lot more convenient to get processed. One thing to talk about is the price. Both 50D and 800T are relatively expensive for what they are. And I suspect this has come down to the additional work needed to convert the old motion picture film into stills film by the removal of this ramjet layer and then repackaging it. I'm happy to pay it, but only for certain special shoots. Kodak Portrait is still my go-to film, but Cinestill 50D is a great option to have on the market and it's something I want to use more of. Hey y'all, thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you guys could like and subscribe, that would really help me out. Also leave your comments below for your thoughts on Cinestill 50D and what your experiences with it are. I have an upcoming video on Cinestill 800T that I'm making right now and hopefully that'll be out soon too a little faster than my usual production schedule. If you have any questions or any requests for other film stocks, leave them again in the comment below and I'll get back to y'all. Have a great day.